has been a long journey around all the habitats, but I've finally taken all the photos. So let's see what the professor has to say. The professor says, put your star piece on. And also check that canopy in case it's shiny, which it's not. Okay, let's claim. Stardust, please. Thank you, Professor. Wonderful work, Weeks. You're certainly getting the hang of that camera. Did you notice anything strange while taking photos of Pokemon in their habitats? Apparently, there's an unusual phenomenon where Pokemon leap out in an attempt to appear in your photos. I've heard Spike refer to it as a photobomb. They do. Cheeky little Jigglypuff. I'm eternally amused and amazed by the things we learn about Pokemon every day. That said, I did notice a connection. These Pokemon all seem to have something in common. Music. I have a hunch that music may be the key to awakening our slumbering Pokemon. What do you think, Weaves? Shall we set the stage and see if some beautiful music is the answer to this perplexing situation? 2019 XP. Aww. Is the game going to play music at me that I won't hear? Pokemon appears! Start encounter! Hey, hello! Oh! <gasps> Friends! Hi everyone! Are they playing music though? Guess I'm going to catch them to the background music of... I forgot what the town is called. Spooky Town. Spooky music. Ooh. Yes. Come on, first ball. Oh. Day. Hey! I do like an amazing Pokemon. And then 5 out of 5 for a bunch of candy and berries and stardust. Trade for 3 Pokemon from at least 100 kilometers away. Hatch 5 eggs and take 3 snapshots of Jirachi. I don't know if I need to do this here, so I might save that for later. That is the GoFest special research! So it's finally done, and now I'm going to hunt so many shinies. I'll see you guys later. So, how did the shiny hunting go? Good! But not as good as Nick, who got 20 shinies in that one day of go fest. Look at this, this is ridiculous. I got six. Three shiny Nidoran males, two shiny Aaron, and a shiny Scyther. I didn't have the Nidoran, obviously, and I didn't have the Scyther before that, so I'm pretty happy with that. Initially, I was a little bit like, really? Two Aaron? Which I know, I mean, it's still shiny, even though I already had two and I traded one away. It's still good, but then, the day before, I hatched a shiny Elekid and I got a shiny Groudon from a raid. And the day after, I got two that I really wanted. Shiny Alolan Diglett and shiny Sandshrew. So would I go again? Yes, absolutely. If they do one in Europe next year, I will be there. Because it wasn't just about GoFest. I mean, go the actual GoFest, I'll talk about that in a minute. But even the day before and the days after, the whole city was lured. There were people playing Pokemon everywhere. Niantic set up three hubs around the city that were sponsored gyms, so people had kind of a place to cluster. And people were there, and there were loads of restaurants, and one of the restaurants I was at actually had a special Pikachu menu, which is very cute, but I think it was basically their lunch menu. The vibe around the city, like it's a really nice city, 
But the whole vibe around the city as well was great with people playing Pokemon everywhere. Any raid, you could be guaranteed to get people playing. It was just a really great experience. And because we were in Europe, yeah, there were Slarkoth everywhere. It was impossible not to... It was... I mean, I say impossible. Let's go with virtually impossible in case people didn't get shiny Slarkoth. But four days of Slarkoth being everywhere, I feel like it was impossible not to get one if you wanted one. But yeah, GoFest itself. First off, I have to disclose that Niantic did give me a ticket and they also gave me this lovely water bottle, which is very nice. We got GoFest on the back and this amazing design on the front. And it was very enjoyable, as I keep saying. It was the fact that it was like a really long community day, basically, but super chill. West Fallen Park is a very nice venue. As you saw in the video earlier, we had the little cable car that was whizzing around. I was there on a Thursday, which is why the shots of the park will be quieter than you've probably seen in other videos. And we didn't have any of the connection problems that a few people experienced, not many. But there were certain places, like around the boat lake, because I think there were so many food places and there was a really good cluster of Pokestops there, I think a lot of people had signal problems. But you could just wander off to a different part of the park and everything was fine. And I think the best part of it, yes, we had the Jirachi quest line that was designed to encourage you to keep moving, but you could do it at your own pace. And there were so many places, even though it was really hot, there were so many places where you could just sit under a tree at a cluster of Pokestops and just constantly be shiny checking at your own leisure. So yeah, I had a lot of fun. And now that we're back, I need to finish the Jirachi quest line for that final quest to get my 20 candy. And actually, the quest at the top, which was trade for... trade three Pokémon over 100 kilometers distance, that has now been changed to evolve three Pokémon, which seems like a weird change to me because you can definitely... Well, yes, you can't catch unknown when you're at home, or like you can, but it's going to be super difficult. It's very easy to trade Pokemon over 100 kilometers if you just have like one international friend that remembers to send you gifts. But anyway, not a problem. So let's evolve three Pokemon now, and I may as well go with my shiny boys. So let's make you into a Nido King. As far as tips for people going to go fests, bring sunscreen. Where? Well, you can't bring sunscreen because they ban spray bottles and bottles that are bigger than 150 mils. Wear sunscreen. Bring a hat. If there are certain shinies that you're targeting, find out what zone they're going to be in and just plant yourself there. I mean, there's nothing really non-obvious, I would say. Comfy shoes? Oh, he's nice. I like that. Rawr. All right, and if I want my full decks, let's make you. I mean, technically I have the full decks, but if I want my full living decks. And that's the GoFest questline done. So let's take all our stuff. Give me the candy. Complete. Oh, not even a message from the professor. Well, you're welcome, professor, for all that hard work. <laughs> And yeah, that was GoFest. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I've been told that some people haven't been getting notifications, so hit the bell if you'd like to get notified on my future videos as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.